They weren't going to let them get away with it on their watch. How members of a church caught scrappers in the act and helped get them arrested. Scrapping has long been an issue, of course, in the city of Detroit. It seems the COVID pandemic is aiding in its comeback. But some members of a church on Detroit's west side weren't going to let them target their place of worship after being hit multiple times. Our Rod Maloney has a look at how they caught the guys in the act. The Bushnell Congregational Church here on Detroit's west side has a deep, rich, storied history. In fact, the building itself is on the state's historic building registry. They have been holding services here on a weekly basis, and the community outreach had been ongoing. But as COVID hit, things slowed down, and that's when the scrappers descended on the place. They pulled all of the cables out. Uh -huh. You need a flashlight to walk the Bushnell hallways, Pastor Philip Sims told us. It has been very frustrating for us to come on a Sunday morning and uh, no lights <laughs> or no heat. No water either. The scrappers yanked all the copper piping. The insulation covers litter the floor. They dismantled the boiler. Church members would sleep overnight here trying to catch them, but they couldn't cover every night. And that's when the scrappers would come back. Hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage. This is their, some of their stuff. And Early Tuesday morning, two church members, James Washington and Ramasu Ee, came armed and heard terrible banging. The scrappers were pulling the men's room apart. We said some colorful words that I can't really say right now, but, uh, you know, we ordered them against the wall. Uh, a friend of mine, he uh, patted them down, make sure they didn't have stuff. They had a little stun gun and stuff like that. We explained how bad it was. Um, did they know that what they were doing, the community they were, they were damaging, uh, the programs that we had to stop, the amount of money that it costs to keep with these repairs. We never stopped because we knew if we stopped, it would never start again. Detroit police did come make a couple of arrests. They're expecting charges against these two guys. But in the meantime, they went back inside and they found a cell phone that apparently had pictures on it of other thefts and that these guys were allegedly selling this stuff on the Internet. In the meantime, they've got a couple of hundred thousand dollars worth of damage to make up, so they plan on some serious fundraising in the days to come. On Detroit's west side, Rod Maloney, Local 4.